I'm Eddie and today we're going to change the fan in a HP G7 laptop and if you like what you see please subscribe and click the like button thank you enjoy right so this is a HP 250 G7 laptop um, now with these you've got to be very careful because the screws you might only see four screws but there are actually hidden screws on these ones and they are under these rubber bits there's a screw there And then depending on, because I can never remember with these ones, whether it's just one at the end or there's one in the middle as well. So when you're taking the rubber off, you've got to be very careful. There's another, another one there. Hope the volume isn't too loud for you. No, so that's it looks like the only one. This stretches so easily, this stuff. Screws out. It was hidden by the sticky tape. Mm. 
me do all this just so you can't repair it yourself. I was a field engineer for quite a few years for, well, I started out as Olivetti and uh, then they became Getronics, no, sorry, they became Wang Global and then they became Getronics and I worked on the Barclays account and also later as a Dell warranty engineer. few other accounts as well that the businesses have now gone to the wall like I don't know if you remember Thrashers As you know, this is um, this is only my fourth video. I'm still sort of learning. Uh, one there. Yeah, there's one there as well. you're enjoying these as much as I'm enjoying making them. Still fairly nervous though. keen on HP laptops um, because when they go wrong it's always well the ones I get in the most for repair that sometimes can't be repaired and that's HP's I had a customer once that worked in the finance of HP and they told me that there's a 63% failure rate on HP's at 18 months. Right, so this is what we're changing. Do you hope they've sent me out the right one? No, I'm going to have to. 
Okay. So, you know, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the fan off. And oh, I'm also going to take the heat sink off as well and apply, clean it up and apply some new thermal grease if I can find it. <laughs> We've been in this unit for ooh, six weeks. This is our sixth week here. And downstairs is all sorted. But I haven't got round to sorting my area out then. Right. If you can just bear with me. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean that off with some Acasa or a citrus. I can smell that. All right. I'm going to clean off the processor. Sorry. Right, clean that off there, and also I would recommend this a Casa Tim Clean. Absolutely brilliant. I swear by that stuff. And. Uh, Then know where I put it. <laughs> uh, and we're going to put a bit of this. I thought I had some more idea just now. Just be quiet. DC one. Might go a little bit too much on there. Not enough. Right. I will put that back on in a minute. I'm going to take the
fit of these little screws. <clears throat> I'll put a link to the Acasa Tim Clean in the uh, Be Quiet uh, Thermal Paste Grease, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> I prefer the that stuff to the, the actual white grease. Uh, I don't think it actually the grease is very good. Oh, oh, I got a bit of dust in my mouth. Uh, this one, as you can see, this one ha actually has a NVMe drive fitted to it, or a uh, M.2, whatever you want to call them. Um, so yeah, let's just... So that's right, so that's about it. I'll get it all um, sealed up and then we'll give it a little test. All right, welcome back. So we'll start it up. Now if there's anything wrong with the fan, it will come up and say here. Nope, and that is... I don't know if you can hear that, but I can hear. Right, so that's it. Um, thanks for watching, and hope you enjoy. Don't forget to click like and subscribe, and help me grow this channel. Thanks a lot. Bye.